You know, it helps if I unmute the mic. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it helps if I unmute the mic. Hi, chat. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. We don't normally stream Wednesday. Isn't that a thing? Um, yeah. Welcome on back to our beautiful, lovely new break screen. Or not break screen, just chatting screen. Let me just put from that a little bit. Um, yeah. So today the plan is MSQ. We're going to start it. We're not going to finish it because it usually takes a few hours to finish. Um, <clears throat> Because it's a work night. I work in the morning, so we're not going to go too late. Probably like an hour and a half, two hours at most. What I'm thinking. So let's go over to the game. Turn off the music. Oof. There we are. Look, we're at my house and I'm on Andin. And you know what? I realized just now, and also I was thinking about it earlier. I never actually equipped those gloves that we got yesterday. That's not it. Oh, it's probably in my inventory. There we go. Gloves. Yeah, they're better. Cool. Uh, I guess those are nice. Very blue. Sure, why not? That's PP. There we go. We've gotta update our portrait whenever we do this. Is it? Save? Huh? Wait, what? Weird. Wouldn't let me just. Why can't I? Oh, do I need to? Confused. <gasps> Did I overwrite one? I didn't mean to overwrite. Shit. No, I shouldn't have. I should have been on my white mage this whole time. Ah, because I have the glamour kit. Hi to the thing. Oopsies. Uh, I'm gonna deal with that later. I'm gonna deal with that later. All right, let's go do some MSQ. So we're gonna go to Rods at hand. Anyway, hope y'all are doing well. Hope everyone's having a good start to their week. Yesterday we finished the Alliance raid. Um, that was pretty fun. That was a great time. And also. I made some good guesses. I made some wild theories and they turned out to be not entirely wrong. So I was like, oh, what a pleasant surprise. Very cool. All right, but now it is time to do MSQ. Some story, let's have a good time. Our, our boy Varshan here. <clears throat> Turn up the game for me. Do some volume adjusting. You guys should be able to hear everything fine. All right, good. All right, let's do this. Seeking the light. Rashawn is glad for your arrival. Ah, Kitameki, I was about to call for you. There have been developments concerning the Void Gate that I would discuss with everyone. Coincidentally, I'm told Yushtola will be returning shortly. I dare to hope she's made some progress in devising a way to harness the first light. Come, let us await the others in my chamber. Oh, that's right. We should be going to the first, right? Yeah, refreshing my memory. We're, we, we're gonna use the light of the first to try to fix the void. He balance out both of them in the, by doing that. Take some of that excess light. <clears throat> the trick is we gotta get back there. My apologies for the delay. Think nothing of it. I hear my cats fighting. Boys are fighting. Come on, Jericho. I pray thou art... Hope they're okay. Pray thou art come with glad tidings. The findings well worth many sleepless nights, I am pleased to report. You may leave it there, thank you. Ha! 
I like how the camera extends above the frame. Let me fix that. Uh, untested new camera. There we go. Less weird. Uh, eager though I am to hear the details, I must first share tidings of my own. Grave ones. Rianje hath sent word from the Void Gate to Mare Lamentorum. The situation is precarious. That's right, we left our boy on the moon to keep an eye on things, so hopefully, hopefully things are okay. Further adjustment. That'll do. Continue to rely upon the brands to contain the forces which would otherwise flow freely to the source. Yet though these measures were sufficient to imprison a fragment of Zodiac for eons, against our enemy's determined onslaught, they are degrading at an unsettling rate. The Loperets are sparing no effort to sustain the brands, but it is only a matter of time ere they fail. Ah, so we need to fix this problem, like, soon, soon. <clears throat> Unless we act soon, there shall be no stopping Golbez from realizing his ambition. What do you think, Stola? What are you thinking about? And that Zeromes should, do te should so test the seal when not even at full strength. It's every bit as terrible as we feared. Aye, we must needs vanquish it, to which end we require a means to pierce its dark shroud. So, did you find it? A way to bring resplendent light to bear against our foe? As a matter of fact, I have. I love the Matoya music. The theory was simple. We harness light from the first and channel it to the thirteenth. Such a feat would require us to manipulate vast amounts of energy, to say the least. <clears throat> ah, the symbol of the ironworks. What did they build you? What do we got for us this time? Okay, um, a bunch of nodes. Elegant looking. And so I consulted Sid and his fellows who rose to the challenge and produced bespoke devices. Aether transmitters that look suspiciously elegant, so I can see, I can tell that they have been making great strides in analyzing elegant technology. There's a cat here. I did add the tag cat cam sometimes, so you know. charged your camera. There you go. There you go, Momo. <coughs> you can't hear him, but he's screaming at me. He's going, meow. I know, you're very cute. Alright, Aether Transmitters. Cool. These marvelous contraptions can be placed at locations of our choosing to facilitate the flow of Aether. In other words, we can use them to create ethereal currents. That should- that such a thing should be possible. We shall first direct Aether from Nabatha Rang, where the flood of light was halted, into the Crystal Tower. We all know from personal experience the wonders of which it is capable. Wonders which suit our needs perfectly. I should mention that the knowledge Gohatia acquired from the Ark Magus Noah was also a source of inspiration. Don't knock over the light. I know! Calm down! I'm trying to watch a cutscene here! What the fuck? Okay. Uh, that's cool. 
They have their own stands. Neat. Okay. Um, how do we use these? Once we have infused the crystal tower with sufficient aether, we shall send it into the rift. Okay. And the aether transmitters shall guide the energy unto the 13th, like so. In this way, we shall have a lance of light with which to pierce the shield of darkness. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. How did you come up with this idea? And how did we develop this technology? Oh, so I hope. No tests were perf we performed were close to the scale of what we ultimately seek to achieve. I cannot guarantee success. With such great minds on our side, how could we possibly fail? It would hardly be the first time we've played it by ear, that one. True enough. But that's not a point of pride for me, personally. Science and theory aside. We need to place one or more of these transmitters in the first, I take it. Leave that to me, I got you. I can take care of it. A task we shall entrust to you, Kinomeki. Rest assured I will provide you with what support I can. You got it. I'm on it. I wish to go as well. How? are we gonna bring you over? How's that gonna work? They get mad when I shove people into crystals. Beck lugs are like, stop! Stop doing that, it's dangerous! It's really mad. This world that you brought back from the brink. I see it with my own eyes. But... How dost thou intend to make the journey? Exactly! That's what I'm saying! A spirit vessel. That's how you and yours managed it, yes? I get really mad when I do it, though. <laughs> it's gonna be like, not fucking again, come on! White and summoning also sees the soul separated from flesh. Separation I can do at will. Principles are similar enough. If you aren't adverse to traveling with company, I should be glad to lend Zero my vessel. Okay. A little weird that you guys still kept him on you, but alright. They're all- all over the signs are just- Walking around carrying spirit vessels with uh, Raha's blood on them. Reasons. And it's settled. I shall finish preparing the transmitters and then help Zero transfer her soul. Pray see to your own preparations and then let us reconvene at Megaduta. Almost like, why did you stop petting me? Like, I'm trying to enjoy the cutscene. Child. Oh, let's change minions. For a moment, I misunderstood and thought Yastola was proposing that Zero borrow her body. Which would have been odd. Yep, to say the least. Yep, that would have been pretty weird. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Sorry. Just 
Tola will be along after she sees after she has seen the Zero's soul. Let us await her here. Apologies for the wait. Everything went smoothly. Zero's soul is now safely within the spirit vessel. I shall have the alchemist att attend her body until she returns. Okay. Mm, gotta stretch. The vessel I place in your care, along with the transmitters and a set of garments for Zero. I've also included instructions on how to operate the Crystal Tower, courtesy of Graha Tia. Thanks, Raha. I literally just saw you not that long ago. Seems like yesterday, in fact. While you're away, I'll join Yuri Anjay and the Loperts on the moon. We'll need help should the brands fail. It's like, I'm gonna be go stand by to beat stuff up because I need something to do. It's fine. A fine idea. For my part, I shall continue to coordinate our efforts while I recover from my wounds. Given the task at hand, I suggest you speak with Reen. With her power over light, she is bound to be helpful in our efforts. But ere you do that, or aught else, seek out Beck Lu. As the first foremost authority on Soulcraft, they should be able to grant Zero a corporeal form. As I recall, the old new Mo was rather fond of the Cabinet of Curiosity, so that should be your first stop. It's all for me. Go forth, Warrior of Darkness, and make your triumphant return to the first. Do you need me to drop anything off with Runar? Do you need me to go say hello? Stop by, give him anything from you? Letter, perhaps? No? You sure? You sure you didn't just, like, sneak one in with the transmitters? Ugh. All right. Look at me, I can just teleport there. Bye! Um. Hey, Momo. <gasps> Don't say! Very cute. All right, Cabinet of Curiosity. And straight to the point. He is upstairs. They? They are upstairs. I think I think uh, Beck Lug was a they. <clears throat> Hello. Is that you, Kirameki? What brings you back across the rift? Honestly, first you ask me to extract another soul from a spirit vessel, and then you tell me you have designs to channel light into the void? Wicked light, Kirameki! Is nothing ever simple with you? No. I have complicated friends. <laughs> and I find myself in complicated situations, like, all the time. <laughs> oh, I suppose some people can't help but find themselves at the center of world-changing events. Yep, exactly. Exactly! See, you understand. Very well. If your home is in peril, then I shall do all in my power to aid you. And if it helps, Unukalai with his work, all the better. Oh, and if it helps Unukalai with his work, all the better. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he's here and he wants to go home and he wants to save the void. The friends now. While I tend to your companion, you should go and speak with Reen. By all accounts, she practically lives at the Hotorium these days. I will look for you there once I've finished. Like I said, you'll most likely find Reen at the Hortorium. Run along for now. Her work on a tome chronicling events from the time of the Flood proceeds slowly but surely. It is perhaps the most ambitious project I have dared to take on. But I consider it my mission to persevere- to, or sorry, to preserve our collective experiences for posterity. <gasps> Speak about Ardburn and his companions? 
no mentioning of anything you've told us in the books here at the cabinet. Perhaps it is time I made a contribution to our collection of works. Whee! Ah, my knees! Or crunchy knees. Torium's here, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. She likes plants! Plants are cool. But perhaps if you'd brush your hair away from your eyes, you'd have seen it. What is looking for? Oh! Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing here? The realm at peace will have even more time to experiment with new seeds and fertilizers. Just wait for all the wonders that will come forth from our garden. Isn't she the one who went traveling out of the, uh, out of Fano? Is that her? Is she the sister who left? Man. There was the two who were like guardians. It was a side quest thing. Then one of them was like, yeah, I'm gonna go travel. Hmm. All right, let's talk to me. Hey girl, how's it going? We should probably have also said hello to Feol. Just saying, she's gonna be mad. Storing the elements to the empty may allow life to flourish there once more. That isn't enough to return the environment to the way it was. No, we need to gradually reintroduce life, beginning with plants. Not just any plants, though, but those that won't be a burden on a weakened land. She's really into this, thinking about how to restore life. Such as... Gaia! Become quite the scholar. See, so you've taken an interest in gardening. How about coffee plants? Don't want to say the dumb thing. I want to say the dumb thing. I want to say the dumb thing real bad. How about coffee plants? Because coffee biscuits. Where's your girlfriend? Coffee no key. Coffee? I recall correctly, it thrives in warm climates with cooler nights to promote growth. Yes. Yes, that might be suitable. Damn, I was just... Just memeing on the coffee biscuits. That, cool! Oh, hey Momo! Oh, bye Momo! There goes the cat. Oh, my cat cam. And with a good harvest, we could set some aside for coffee biscuits. Back to the coffee biscuits. Wait, it's you! Hi! Hello, been standing here for a while. How are you? How's it going? You caught me rambling to myself. How embarrassing. Actually, 
been studying botany, you see. Hoping that the knowledge would help our work in the empty. Ow. Sorry. Never mind that for now. What brings you to the Crystarium? It's my understanding that the final days were behind us. I mean, yeah, but, like, there's always a new problem. <laughs> Even though me, always sticking my nose in trouble. Wish to combat this otherworldly threat with the power of light? Please let me help. I've lost my connection to Heidelin. I can still manipulate light to a degree. There's a chance I could save others with that power? I have to try. I keep reading the voice lines? I don't know. I don't know if other people do that or not. I hope people care about it. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe, maybe we'll just like read it and not try to like read it, but like just, you know, recite it. It's done. Zero is now with us in the flesh. Spirit vegetable, I shall hold on to for, hold on to for operating the tower. Ah, okay, smart. Um, here you go. There's the instructions from Grahatia. Help me make some, make some of the controls. Yeah. <gasps> There's a levity in his words that wasn't there before. It heartens me to know that he is well. She'll see to the preparations as per, inst per his instructions. Hey, thanks for your help. Oh, my God, they're going to be the same. Think nothing of it. That said, it is customary for my kind to receive fitting payment for services rendered. Not unlike we void sent, then. In that case, you may devour some of my aether. They don't do that. <laughs> Zero. Are you mad? I'll do no such thing! The very suggestion is absurd! He's like, what? Now, now, let's calm down. We all have our preferences, and I'm sure no offense was intended. It's hard not to do it. I'll still read, like, the non-voice ones proper, I think, but... For the voice ones, just read it. Uh, I shall attend to the tower now. The rest I leave to you. The up to no good music. Zero, was it? My name is Reen. It's a pleasure to meet you. しかし、ここが本当に光に飲まれた世界なのか? 
人も空もお前の世界と大して変わらなく見える。World isn't what I expected. But light is indeed strong here. Strong here. It's not pervasive or overwhelming. Everything looks much as it did in the source. With the Warrior of Darkness, I think, for that. Hi, hi, I have multiple names. Don't worry about it. Champion of Eorzea, Warrior of Light, Warrior of Darkness. It's, it's all good. It's all good. They're all, they're all me. It's fine. Master Crafter, Master Goldsmith, Saint of the Ferment. You're interested, I'd be glad to show you around. <gasps> Why? Why would you play this music? We're not doing anything like super emotional, are we? Is this gonna be an emotional journey? Oh lord, help me. Ordinary sky, ordinary and beautiful. To think that after so much loss, I could reclaim this. Oh, that's our intro? Holy shit. Very cool. peace to the world, and I want to ensure that peace is preserved. That's why I'm learning everything I can. Heard something of your deeds here. How the warrior of darkness fought on despite the light ravaging her very being. Yeah, it, it kind of hurt. I got a little light sick. And at the self-same strength of spirit, perhaps I could have done more for my world. No, it isn't over yet. Thirteenth isn't beyond saving. That's why we're here. So, we're two. Just lead the way. Right, I love dragon fruit, though. It's one of my favorite things. I have half a dragon fruit every morning for breakfast. <gasps> dragon fruit blend? You don't need broccoli flour? <sighs> I need inventory space, but I want that. Maybe I'll put a little honey in my dragon fruit tomorrow morning. You've inspired me, 14. I see they use aetherites here as well. Not that I'll be able to, having not attuned to any. I trust you're willing to walk with me. Wanna go attune right now? We'll walk around. Want a tour? Rain is eager to help you set your plan in motion. Appealing to the masses! Head for Nambatha Ring. Since Zero can't teleport to the Aether right there, we should probably travel by Amaro. Are you don't want to go a tune? Whoa, Lena? Hey! Hey, girl! Ah, there you are. Thank goodness I'm not late. Dean, or sorry, Lena! I take it back Luke told you why she why she's here? More or less? Greetings and welcome. I am Lena, captain of the guard here at the Crystarium. Zero, is there something you require?
When I learned of your plan to gather light at the Crystal Tower, I felt compelled to warn you of the potential repercussions. I know well that you would never use the tower for ill, nor without due caution. And so... I believe I understand. Ever since the Flood, light has been a source of pain and misery. Some fear it still, no doubt. Which is to say that some would be uncomfortable at the sight of it wielded as we intend. That is your concern, is it not? Precisely. What if we just tell them that we're taking the extra light and we're gonna go shoot it off somewhere else to, like, you know, balance out your world a little bit more? Are they gonna believe that? Are they gonna care? Are they gonna freak out still? Like, it's a good thing. You gotta do something with it. It was light that nearly consumed our world. To use the Crystal Tower to harness this destructive force was turning the tower into an object of fear. They convince the Kostarium of the necessity of your cause, but it will not be so easy to win over those outside our walls. I worry this will undermine the fragile trust that we have only begun to build with some communities. They may misunderstand your intentions. You want us to, like, go around and talk to everybody? Because I can do that. Tell me. Who th tell me who they are and what misunderstandings they may have. I shall allay their concerns. Nameki and I will go with her. People know us. Our presence will put them at ease. Thank you. I realize this will delay the execution of your plans, but I see no other way. As for where to begin, I dare say Yulmore would be as good a place as any. Though ours is an amicable relationship now, we were at odds for years. For long years. No more was once ruled by a tyrant who wielded the power of light. Though he promised salvation, in truth he made slaves of his subjects and sought to destroy any who defied him. He's gone now, thankfully, and a good man named Chai Nuz was elected mayor. Relations between our cities have much improved since then. Chai Nuz is a homie. Even so, there's a lingering rivalry between us. If the Kostarium were to harness light without warning, some Yulmorans might suspect we have ulterior motives. Thus would it be prudent to give them prior notice. If you explain that you see seek to save the Warrior of Darkness's home, though, I should hope that they would give you their blessing. Please save my home, thanks! Once again, your na yours is a name that commands respect and trust in the domain of your former enemies, as it does in Garlemald. I, I, I get around. I do a lot of stuff. I'm a very busy person. Where else should we visit? After Yulmar, I would suggest the Raktika Greatwood. There you will find the Knights Blessed, a small collective which worships darkness, as well as the Vs, guardians of the secrets of ancient Ronka. The Vs are insular and will likely not object unless the light encroaches upon their territory. The Knights Blessed, on the other hand, would greatly benefit from your assurances that your actions will not adversely affect their lives. People who worship darkness, fitting for a world all but consumed by light. Very well. We'll treat with the people of Yulmor and the Knights Blessed. Here, take these whisper weeds. I will let you know when all is in readiness with the to with the tower. Like a link pearl, but he local. Okay. Right then, I should tend to my own tasks. Explaining the situation to the people of the Crystarium and arranging for your transmitters to be placed here and in Nabatharain.
I'm truly grateful. Thank you, Lena. Come, let's head to Yolmore. Hopefully Chai Nuzin will know how best to present our plan to everyone. Where's Gaia? Where's she hanging out now? Oh, all right. I'm gonna go look for her. Where do we think she could be? Down there. I would think maybe in the cafe area? Unless she's, like, in Yulmore. We're just gonna look around. It doesn't hurt to look. I wonder... Crap, I don't remember if I bought all the bicolor things from Shadowbringers. I want to say I did. She is not here. I have no idea where she could be. Alright, let's go to Yulmore. Well, China's is over there. Oh, let's talk. <gasps> wow, they're all here. Look at look at the gang. Talk to Rendon first. Greetings, warrior of darkness. If you've come out of concern for our esteemed mayor, fear not. He runs the city well and as ever prefers to work closely with the people. Better to hear their voice. Irene! Oh, what a wonderful surprise this is! And you've even brought a new friend! This is great. This is the great and powerful leader of Yulmore. He must be possessed of subtle qualities that make him uniquely suited to the position. Look, Dulia Chai and Rendon are here too. Between the three of them, we should be able to get some good advice. Gods, if it isn't Ginameki! What do we owe the pleasure? Not another world ending threat, surely not. Surely not. Plan we're planning a grand undertaking that may be of concern to the people of yore. There's a sensitive matter about which we thought it best to consult the city's esteemed mayor. Uh sensitive matter. Let's let's maybe not blurt this out in a public space in the middle of everybody. Then you're shot. Subtlety. I doubt I'd ever si can describe myself as such, but anyway, I can tell you're up to something. The kind of something I might want nothing to do with. And regardless, I should probably know. What is it? So, we're gonna gather the excess light in the crystal tower. Don't worry, we're not gonna bring on... You know, another flood or anything. We're gonna actually use it to shoot it away to save my how my home from a flood of darkness, because that would be bad, right? Yeah. Gathering light with the crystal tower, you say? I would be lying if I said that doesn't back bring back unpleasant memories, and I believe I'd speak for most you morns. I can hardly blame you. We have no reason to question your motives, of course. Neither yours nor those of the Crystarium's leadership. A world engulfed in darkness, its corrupted inhabitants attempting to invade your own? It's rather a lot to process. The desire to save one's home is something anyone can understand. 
I'm touched that you show such concern for our feelings despite the gravity of your plight. Very well, you you have my support. What's up, Mom? As if there were ever, ever any doubt! Right, let's gather the people at once. An explanation from you ought to ensure everyone understands. Uh, not so fast, dearest. If I were to reveal everything at this juncture, many would be deeply unsettled, regardless of any assurances I offered. No, oh, we need to first set the stage. Spread word of the Warrior of Darkness's plight, that she's on a mission to save her world as she once did ours. Once the tale is common knowledge, I shall call an assembly and explain the need to harness the power of light to a populace far more amenable to the idea. To that end, why'd I trouble you to speak with our citizens about your predicament? It would be more effective to hear the details from the hero herself, more likely to inspire solidarity for your cause. So, we appeal to the desire to aid the Warrior of Darkness to present light in a more positive light. Well played, Master Chai. Very smart, using his brain. If it's best that you do the talking, then we'll come with you. Fine by me. Content to observe. I got this. I've n been known to spin a tail or two. Once you've finished your rounds, I ask that you report to me. I should like to know how the people react. So you can plan your speech accordingly. Got it. I'm, I got it. We're on the same page. Need the way, Kiramaki. I'll be right behind you. And happy music. I'm acutely aware of my limitations and know that I am not the most persuasive speaker, thank you. We should do our utmost to make the people more receptive before I address them. People of Yulmar have tremendous faith in both you and Master Chai. They would not still be here otherwise. I, myself included. So Zero can travel here freely like you! Well, that Alfino could do the same. I miss him dearly. Oh, Mom misses her son. Alfie's got two moms. Alina and Master Chai couldn't be more different. They're both mindful of how their actions may affect others. They're both good leaders, and there's much I hope to learn from them. That conversation alone, I could see how much the people here trust you. Thanks to Eulis and Thancred, I've, be I've grown better at recognizing it. You meant Thancred too? I mean, <clears throat> right, of course you have. I, I don't know why I said that. Right, let's find some citizens to speak with. I suggest we start here in the canopy before heading down to the understory, and then the derelicts. They're on Reen are now accompanying us. Let's talk to you. Now the Crystarium is my home now. I still visit Yulmar on occasion, together with Gaia. And each time I'm here, I can feel that the city has changed. The mood is brighter and the people happier. We can't allow all that hard-won progress to be undone. Let's do our best to reassure everyone. The tower, growing more decadent as it rises, sit upon an isolated sl sliver of land, reminiscent of a void sent domain. Built by those who yearned for better times, ached for that shadow of a memory. But I saw no such desperation in the Gustaria. Despite their shared tragedy, the two cities can feel more different. Yeah, that's kind of how it be. To the beehive! Different strokes for different folks. Bees! Bees? Discuss the beehive. I think it once told me that people come to these places to save some memories and drown the others. I imagine the beehive was built primarily to help you mourn and forget about sin eaters, even if only for a time. And now they can simply enjoy themselves. I can see the appeal, but don't worry, I know I'm still a bit too young for it. 
good. I'm glad he didn't go into too much detail, but enough so that you would understand that he... No, this is not for you. Tavern, and an extravagant one at that. Those dancers engage with the poles in such strange ways. Are they pantomiming a battle? A soldier thrusting their spear into the ground and using it to launch themselves at an enemy, perhaps? Given this world's violent history, it makes sense that displays of martial prowess would become popular entertainment. Ooh, nobody tell her. I, I don't. I don't think she. She doesn't need to know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Pessimistic patron. Uh, are you okay, dude? I used to live for the moment, not caring what might happen on the morrow. Now that we have peace, I find myself thinking about the future, feeling anxious. What? Your home is threatened with destruction? Wicked white, why are you wasting time in a drinking hole? Ugh, but as I say it, I feel the sting of hypocrisy. Gods, I need to take control of my life and face my troubles head on. Same goes for you! I mean, thanks? No one ever found answers at the bottom of a cup. None. None worth a damn, at least. We both know exactly what we need to do, don't we? Don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, where's the stairs? I forgot where the stairs are. There, those are stairs. That'll, that'll do. They were like, hello! If I jump off, will you come with me? Whee! Don't mind the knees. My knees are fine, I assure you. Can I ever talk to these people? Master Chai's words have resonated with the people, and you'll find no clearer example than within the army. Though we are few in number, morale is high, and we have every intention of doing what we can to keep the people safe. Nice. Well then. Thing is, if we distribute them evenly, we have plenty of supplies to go around. And everyone in the city has some sort of skill to offer, else they wouldn't be here. So I think we'll be fine. How very optimistic of you. Leon Le Leonia? Le Le Leoina? And now the whole city has moved on to jibbering about the night sky! I must admit that it's been nice gazing up at it together, with no one concerning themselves with rank or status. Where? Up your arse and around the car. <gasps> Rude? Shy sat. The vastness of the night sky is incredibly comforting, don't you think? Solemn soldier. Well now, the warrior of darkness and the oracle of light both! How may I be of service? My home's in trouble! I'm here to investigate, to figure out a solution! Your enemies plot to invade your world? Having heard tales of seniors ravaging countless villages, your plight feels all too familiar. Come what may, I urge you to remain strong. You overcame the Light Wardens, you can overcome any adversity. For what it's worth, I'm sure everyone here would be willing to help in whatever way they can. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to hear from you. Have courage, my friend. You saved our world before, and I have faith you will save your own. That said, if I or my brethren can be of assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. I just need you to be super chill about me gathering a bunch of light at the Crystal Tower. Thanks! Deirdrick? Someone had to go and open a path to the Tempest Floor, huh? Which means those marks we thought we'd never have to deal with, well... Could well what's ults up to our front door. Good thing you nutters are around to deal with them. What are you on the hunt for? Oh, shit. Cool. Alright. I don't need that explanation, but thanks. What's in here? Nothing! Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. 
Triala. Can't rely on Lord Valtry and General Ranji to protect the city anymore. Probably shouldn't have in the first place. So we'll be working on... So we will be working doubly hard from now on. Good to hear. That lady seems lost. Cornen, Cornen, Cornen. Think it's about time I left the city. Might find myself a nice spot up on the mountain somewhere and just spend my nights drinking in the stars. Ever since that young lady helped me remember what decent behavior truly is, I have been working on working to mend my ways. My friend here is explaining to me what it might do to assist those outside the gates. Nice, good for you. Lara Smood? There's been a sharp increase in volunteers to join the Omoran army. It would not be so surprising if they were not all non-citizens. In truth, I'm beginning to think such distinctions will have little, if any, me any meaning in the future. I imagine Yulmore's bu bureaucracy is in for some significant, significant adjustments. Till matters are settled, however, I shall take refuge in the execution of my regular duties. Nodana. Even without Mule, my new wage more than covers the cost of food. And I needn't worry about being expelled from the city if I make a mistake! Why didn't we get rid of Val three ages ago? <laughs> I am glad you've come to your senses. The sure to something something. Okay. Registration officer. These days, my work consists of tracking down the fate of bonded citizens who've gone missing. I do have all the pertinent documents filed right here, after all. Not the most enjoyable of tasks, but... I thought that someone should update those records. I've been thinking about it, but becoming a citizen of Yulmore has been my only goal for so long. I'm not sure I know how, how to want anything else. Where do I go from here? Don't worry, you'll figure something out. I was given leave to seek a new profession to depart from Yulmore or to or to depart Yulmore in entirely if I want if I so wanted, but it's quite clear that exchange of goods will prove crucial to the city's future. So, I, I, I chose to remain. Che lad. We're still serving as a conduit of trade between those living up above and everyone else, and I must say, the amount of goods the free citizens are willing to part with has increased quite significantly. <laughs> Many of the bonded citizens who, chose, who have chosen to seek their fortunes elsewhere stopped by to greet me before they departed. Want to thank me, they said. I do hope they fare well out there. Oh, that's so nice. Choice for? There are still Sin Eaters wandering around out there, is that right? With Lord Valthry no longer here to keep them at bay, we'll need to keep watch of our borders, meaning we will need more helping hands. Ooh, you got a nice spear there, old man. I'm not sure any of these items will ever be claimed now, but I would hate to be held responsible if anything goes missing, so I'll continue guarding them for the nonce. Wait. How long has that dude been showering in there? It's been ages! How's he not a prune? Seems she was mistaken about something. That guy's been showering in there forever! Hadn't been around talking to these people. I talked to them, like, during Shadowbringers, and then, like, not after we did anything. So much. Yes, yes, the gate is now open to all, just don't make a fuss. You need something? Nah, I'm go oh. Nah. Now nah, we good. We're good. You you have you need of a personal entertainer or even a simple guide? Please I'll do anything. Never did find the one I came here to see. It seems he found himself a patron and then gone. Just like that. I shame. It's a good man. Aw, sad. Probably got eaten. 
turned into a Sin Eater. Wealthy? Oh, I didn't see you there. We were just talking about... Well, the future, I suppose. Our future. Citizens have sent us plenty of supplies to get through until we can all choose where to relocate to. Which is good news, except for the fact that I have to keep track of it all. Met with some Mondo the other day, if you can believe it. I have some mighty fine goods to offer and seemed intrigued by what I have in stock as well. Beautiful trade partnership in the making. It's really cool to see how everybody's getting on. Still people hanging out down here, but, you know, now they're doing other stuff. I've given up on Yule more. Now that I've had a good long think about it, I realize that I can sell all this stuff at much higher prices elsewhere. Then I can really live like a queen. Good for you. That thing they're cleaning- That thing they're cleaning up the debris. For a moment I thought it might be a void scent. In case you didn't know, it's not uncommon for a kind to use statues as vessels. But I see now that it's more akin to the mechanical soldiers used by the Garleans. Come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? The what in the what? Oh shit! I didn't even see that dude! Okay, cool. They got a, they got a golem there. And Valdi tried to keep us out of the city. Many few citizens died in the chaos. Some had no kin to inherit their wealth, so, and so Yulmor decided to use it to help fund the reconstruction of the derelicts. It's a part of the greater effort to improve the living conditions down here, which is important since there's simply not enough room for everyone in the city proper. Neat. Thankfully, the price of fish seems to have stabilized again, and now I can enjoy my stew under the stars! Ah, it's good to be alive. Enjoy the rain, buddy. What are we looking at? Seen a lot of Ondo lately. Maybe they're surfacing to see the night sky. Must be just as fascinating for them as it is for us. You reckon I should lend them my spyglass so they can get a better look? Y you're the warrior of darkness! I never dreamed I'd have the honor, but... Why are you in Yomor, if I may ask? My home's in trouble! Oh no, I'm here to try to help find a to see if I can find a solution. I, I gotta have a good think with some people. Your home is in danger and you've come seeking help? Yeah, that. <laughs> is there anything we can do for you? You need only ask. Things could be better here, of course, and we've got a long road ahead of us, but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and yours, and we'll never forget that. Thank you, I appreciate it. Once feared the Sin Eaters and the light with every fiber of my being, but no longer. There's too much that wants are doing. I can't afford to be ruled by fear. You taught me that. Beautiful. Love to hear it. Dark, night, dark of night is no comfort to an aging rat like me. I see their faces looking down at me. Old friends who died such brutal deaths in the war against the Eaters. You sell stuff. Hey, Patty, what you doing? Night returning is all well and good, but for the moment it only means less time when I can actually see what I'm turning up. Look. It's called a lamp. Get one. I know it doesn't help that much. Plus, it's raining out here right now. I have a feeling there's not much left to see here. I might return to the Crystarium soon. That's where the world will begin again, mark my words. So I was trying to remember which way to go. I need- I'm like, not- I'm only like a little past halfway. I know not what's out there, but now that there's a sea to sail, I intend to find out. There must be plans somewhere. Designs for building new ships. Nice. They're so used to taking them apart, now they gotta learn how to build them back up. Am 
Master Chai's talk about better Yulmore has given the people hope, but I'm not convinced. His plans ain't all they're cracked up to be. There'll be hell to pay, I promise you that. Okay, buddy. Of course we're still here. Can't leave while people are in need. That's Hath Hath and Bert's Hath and Bet's creed. I'm the only reason I'm still alive. Respect. There's a lot of people down here still. No, I won't just eat them already. Sure, they're useless with what not being able to lay eggs and all, but we're friends now. Night's return, I could safely make my way elsewhere, but... Well, I've grown rather fond of my little shack. Those up in Yulemore seem much keener on providing us with what we need now. It's happening! I found a bunch of people who are interested in rebuilding the ships! We're gonna take everything that can be spared and build something seaworthy. Just you watch. Seaworthy. Sorry, I know how to talk. Oh, there's somebody in here. Seem it. I hear footsteps running across the roof from time to time. I don't mind. It's only people finding joy where they can, I'm sure. But I do worry that someone will fall. Look. There is a sightseeing point somewhere that you have to climb on her roof to get to. I've already gotten it, so I don't remember exactly where it is, but... That's why. I like how she comments on it. <gasps> Are you okay? This burgling lurks harder than I thought! Oh my god. Why are you stealing from people? I like how they just have dudes hanging sometimes. Pretty funny. Alright, back up we go. We gotta go talk to China's. <laughs> it's a bit of a walk. Did I talk to you? I don't think I did. The bonded citizens have stopped dreaming of being free citizens, and even the free citizens seem to have had a change of heart. I hardly know which way is up at this point. Don't worry about it, you'll get used to it. Spoken with the people, have you? While they're not without their worries, I'd like to think that on the whole, they're not as prone to melancholy as they once were. The people know and respect you, Kitameki. I've no doubt that everyone will rally around you in your hour of need. They're pretty chill. Everyone's pretty cool with it. They're just like, don't worry, you'll figure it out. Stay strong. I believe in you. You got this, buddy. It's okay. Very comforting. I appreciated it. So, the people are of one mind in their desire to help. Good, good. Why, just earlier, I overheard a conversation about how the Warrior of Darkness is seeking to save their home. Your tale is spreading quickly. And the plan has unfolded precisely as you envisioned. All that remains, then, is to assemble the citizens and explain Kitameki's need to gather light. Better or worse, I'm the mayor of this city. Do my best to win them over. Hey, thanks. That's all I can ask. Wait, aren't you? Oh, uh, hello. Are you? Yes, you're her! A young lady who saved me from Valtry! I I'd eaten enough meal to fall under his control, but you cured me! I'd be alive today if not for you. Oh, how nice. Oh, I remember you too. I'm glad to see you're doing well. I only learned later that it was the Oracle of Light herself who saved me. Saved all of us! I didn't know if I'd ever get the chance to express my gratitude. Sure, it was nothing for someone with your power, but... 
Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. How nice for you, Reen. What is this meal? Oh, it was some nasty shit. It's like taking a chunk of poison and then eating- Oh, I guess you eat each other anyway, so it's not as weird for you. But it's pretty weird over here. <laughs> Food made from the light-tainted flesh of Sin Eaters, you say? I see. The more they ate, the more of the light's corruption spread. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you understand the concept of how bad that is. Right. Because of that, they became susceptible to Valtry's commands, as he could make the Sin Eaters do his bidding. Thankfully, I was able to suppress Light's influence and free everyone from his control. There seems to be no lingering effects. Say that as if it were some small feat. Seeing countless souls corrupted by darkness, someone with the power to heal them would be regarded as a great figure. Never no peace. We do have an Oracle of Darkness here. I don't know if we'd... Mm, we'd have no way to bring her over to the 13th, though. It's kind of the thing. But if we ever linked to the worlds, it'd be very helpful. Or if we start bringing darkness to this world a little bit to help balance it out. And she, I'm sure she could help keep things in check. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know if she has any powers left, though. My gift has been a burden. Many have suffered for it. Died for it. There were times when I wished I didn't have it. I wanted to run away from everyone, everything. And I had friends to encourage and guide me. Help me learn not just to embrace my gift, but to take charge of my life. Change my fate. So, you did just that. The people of this world are resilient indeed. My thanks again for your consideration, Kinemeki. The rest you may leave to us. When I, when I tended to people after Valthy fled, I wasn't sure how much of a difference it would make. It's a relief to see so many that I treated are alive and well. We appreciate the Gustarium's concern for the welfare of our people. May we continue to strengthen the ties between our two cities. Oh my god, I tried to Baldur's Gate control the camera. Brief though it was, it was wonderful to see you. Do visit again soon. Hopefully when the fate of the world isn't weighing on your mind. A half-void synth like me managed to escape the flood of darkness. For all these years, I never stopped to wonder why. To wonder if I had a greater part to play. Well, perhaps it's time I took charge and considered what I might be able to do for others. The answer's here in the first, and I will find it. Um... Quick down. We could do one more. In defiance of fate, Zero's cool expression cannot hide the fire in her eyes. We have no further business here. Let's move on. Where to next? Slitherbow, the helm of the Knights Blessed in the Raktika Greatwood. Explain the situation to their leader, Runar. <laughs> All I gotta do is be like, look, this was your Stola's idea. I mean, this was Matoya's idea. She said it's okay, and you guys will be fine, and also she says hello. Be okay. Oh, so they're bow. I don't think I've talked to the people here e either. Only a few people out here. Let's just talk to them. Friendia. How are you guys holding up? Knight's blessings upon you. Sir, what you need, friend? Oh, no, I don't want to talk about this yet. Our faith in the dark has been rewarded, and balance has at last been struck with the light. I very much look forward to seeing what the future holds for our people. The 
Great Wood holds, unto holds untold wonders and dangers both. In order to defend our people, we must learn all we can of the beasts that would do harm. Do us harm. That we might share it with the nutters like yourself. What would you ask me? Oh, you're, you're a hunt. Okay. You're a hunt person. Got it. Meryl? I spent an influx of volunteers for the night guard. There's no doubt in my mind that many of them only seek to uh, seek an excuse to gaze up at the stars. But if it fills our ranks, I suppose I can allow it. How's the garden going? Nothing gives me greater joy than to sit down for dinner with my fellow blessed under a night sky. A starry sky, sorry. Truly we are blessed in every sense of the word. I have not visited here in some time, but it's much as I remember, which is good. Little wonder those who revered darkness would gather here. A dark as this wood may scream may seem is a blazing torch next to the void. True. Hi, Runar buddy, pal, my dude. How's it going? <laughs> Kirameki, you're a sight for sore eyes, my friend. Will you be staying long in Slitherbo? Oh, having said that, I suspect this isn't just a social call. It's not. Matoya sent me. A great plan is in motion and the Knights Blessed deserve to know. We need to speak with you as the leader of the Knights Blessed. It's important. Uh, let's respect his position as leader. This was Matoya's idea. I'm a lead with that. I'm telling you right now. Ah, so it is more of a formal visit. That's fine. Why don't we get right to it then? So Matoya had this had this crazy idea to help save our home world and her home world, her own home world that I'm also from, and it involves taking all the excess light from here and then shooting it into another world to save us. Yeah. What? Your world? Master Matoya's world is in grave danger? I told you, lead with Matoya. Master Matoya? Stola! She took on another name in accordance with custom when she lived among the Knights Blessed. They believe light taints everything that it touches, even their true names. Out of respect, don't speak hers here. You are zero, yes? The one who- The one come from a world consumed by darkness. I struggle to conceive of such a place. Pitch black pall shrouds the sky, which neither the light of the sun nor the stars can pierce. It is the opposite of what you once knew here in Norvrent. That being the case, I'm sure you can relate to our situation. All too well, I have my deepest sympathies. And in order to beat back the darkness in your world, would harness light from ours. Yup. I'm gonna take some of your extra and use it to fight. This is a simple yet brilliant idea. Only Master Matoya could have conceived of such. But Norvrand is still in her thoughts. We are still. Oh, she hasn't stopped thinking about you. She's trying to- she- her every waking moment is like trying to get back here to like go see you and make good on her promise, cause you know. Not her thing. It's fine. So, are Don opposed to our plan? We Knights Blessed may place our faith in the dark, but we have never sought to force our beliefs upon others. Your deliverance lies in light. By all means, avail yourselves of it. Surprised. When I was told of your people, I was certain you would disapprove of our methods. Now you're thinking of the other one, the children of the night or something like that. Children of the dark? I don't remember their name. Do not mistake our reverence for darkness as a desire for it to be ascendant. Rather, in darkness there is a peace that we seek to make our own through prayer and self-reflection. While light may have wrought suffering in our world, anything in excess can be harmful. 
Even darkness, as you and yours know all too well. They're very reasonable people, aren't they? Quite nice. It is the wielder who is righteous or evil, not the weapon. If you would wield a light for a noble cause, then who are we to deny you? An easy thing for me to say now that night has been restored to our world, perhaps. Nevertheless, I wish you the best in your fight, Zero. May light shine your way in the darkness. She's like, these people are so nice and considerate. Even I'm shocked sometimes when people are nice and considerate, like at work especially. I'm like, holy shit, you're a reasonable person to talk to. Now then, to mark this joyous occasion, I must offer you a proper welcome to Slitherbow. You might find this interesting, Zero. Do you say so? Right. Let us begin with the customary greeting. Kirameki, I trust you remember how to announce yourself as a friend of the blessed. Is it like this? I don't remember. It's been a while, y'all. It's been years. Shadowbringers is a long time. Oh, okay. Tells us right there. Uh, say Alan Tuta to offer Runar a traditional greeting. Okay, good. Nobody else is around. Well, let me talk to these two first. My first visit here was nerve-wracking but exciting. Never forget how the villagers warmed to me when I spoke the words. This is a watchword, I take it. Alan Tuta. Oh yeah, it's like this. I knew it was like covering your face somehow. Friends old and new, I bid you welcome to Slitherbow. Alentuta, what does it mean? In the language of the Ronka, it is one of several ways one might say good evening. This greeting allows us to quickly discern friend from foe. Simple expression, but in a world bereft of night, the words held deep meaning. They were a reminder of the world as it was, and the sun and the moon and the stars yet danced across the sky. And we wished one another well as day gave way to night. Communal tradition, then. So the words serve to bind us. Deed, we are no longer strangers, you and I. Next we shall have Next we shall have you cleansed of lights and purities. Present yourself to Davith in yonder room. He will be glad to assist you. I'm reminded of when you first came to us, when Master Matoya was still here. Ah, but don't let me keep you. Go and go on and join your friends. Don't worry, she'll be back. We'll bring her sometime. Someday it'll happen. Ooh, you know what? I had a thought. If we ever like get to the point where we restore the first and like it, it there's a whole other world here to open up after it's restored. If we figure out how to travel here. As they, like, slowly restore the rest of the world. It's a whole other areas that are gonna open up. That's really cool. They have a lot of room to play with stuff. Alright, green? It's nice to guide a new friend through the same experiences, isn't it? It is! No sooner had I greeted this Davith than he poured a pot of water over me. I wasn't expecting a literal cleansing. Don't worry about it. There you are! Your friend has just been cleansed! How do you feel? Wet, but otherwise no different. <laughs> I would have been surprised if he said otherwise. Even so, it is customary to cleanse ourselves of light with water blessed by your priests. You have, d you have darkness again, do you not? Why continue the custom? Why, for the same reason it was that it was conceived. To pray for the safety of friends and visitors alike. So we pray for yours this eve. Safe travels, friend, and may the bless may blessed shadow keep you. That's super nice. Right, if that's all. Let's return to Runar and see if there are any other customs I must observe. On, Kiramaki. The 
When we call it a ritual, it's not exactly unusual or elaborate. I hope your friend's disappointment is not due to her expectations. What if I... I don't think this is where I want to go. No, that's not it. That's not where I want to be. Wait, maybe it is. Hold on. No, it's not. What if I go into Atoya's room? But here? Was this her room? I think it was here. There's nothing in here. But it's very clean and tidy and they must have like, you know, kept it nice for her. Might as well talk to these people. Oh yeah, Kin4. I knew I knew twins who had hair just like yours. Oh, cool. was unnecessary. Master Matoya saw fit to tidy up her chamber, and so we will leave it as it is. There we go. There you go. There's the explanation. The occasional sweeping is as much as we will do. The threat of Sin Eater is largely gone. We may resume the rebuilding of Fort Gone in earnest. I certainly hope you'll be here to see it. Me too. Alan? Kinfort won't stop going on about how the final Stella has been found. I may have to pay a visit to the Stopple with him just to put an end to his ramblings. Kinemeki! Is it true what Valen tells me? Does the Avatar of the Serpent we first encountered travel with you even now? Yes. How blessed you must be to bask in this wisdom and guidance on every step of your journey! You simply must tell me of all the divine secrets that I shared with you. Um... Hasn't told me anything. There we go. It's with me right now. Be. The memories of those bond, those I've met in the bonds we forged will always be a part of me. She may find these moments strange now, but one day she'll look back on them fondly. How does Zero like our welcoming customs, I wonder? undertaken the ritual and while I can't explain it I feel more confident than I did before just a touch I'm glad to hear it with the warrior of darkness at your side I've no doubt that you will save your two worlds if we can defeat zero mess than yet yeah, than I the source would be safe but nothing would change from my own world. It would just be one less void sent to struggle over scraps with the rest. Is that so? Forgive me, I spoke out of turn. Look, all we gotta do is try to figure out how to rebalance your world, like we're starting to rebalance this world, and then maybe it'll be okay. Slowly but surely. It's fine. I was under no, no illusion. I wish it were different, of course. Oh, the Whisperweed. Sounds different than a Link Pearl, that's for sure. Kinemeki, can you hear me? Have you met with the people of Yulmore and Raktika? Yes. Oh, I just finished talking to Runar. Talking to him right now, in fact. Wrapping things up soon. Excellent. Then we may proceed to the next phase of the plan without worry. Beck Lug has informed me that the tower is ready, so make for Nabatha Ring at your leisure. Okie dokie. I've arranged for you to rendezvous with Kassard and Root as well. Not only can he take you to the site of the Flood, but he will also know where best to place the transmitters, given his familiarity with the route between the Kustarium and Amarang. He, he will be in Twine on business shortly, so I've asked him to wait for you there. We gotta go to Twine. It's all coming together. To Twine, then. Hey, good seeing you, buddy. 
Zero's pessimism notwithstanding, we will pray for her world. Take care, my friend. And tell Master Matoya that she is ever in our hearts. Will do, buddy. Alright, we're going to twine. There it is. Sard, hello. Oh shit, I forgot to look for them. It's fine. Ah, your timing couldn't be better, Kinameki. I've just finished up my business here. Rina has told me all. It'd be my pleasure to take you to Namathering. Thanks. As soon as the other's helpers arrive, that is. They're supposed to be along any moment now. What's what's going on? What's up with them? Kinamaki, it really is you! <gasps> hey! We understand you are faced with a quite a predicament, and when an eager when an esteemed customer is in need, the merchants of Mordzuk are eager to provide. Captain bade us assist you, miss, to ensure that light is delivered to the Crystarium. Members of our guard will place transmitters in Lakeland, and the good people of Mordsuk will do likewise in the Hills of Amber. You need but focus on your own task in Nabatha Ring. Yet more people clamoring to help you. It'd almost be more surprising if they hadn't shown up. I made a lot of friends along the way. Everyone's ready? Then let's get to work! Wait! It's the trolley men! Heading in the Batha ring and didn't think to call on us? Uh. Well, most of our Talos are in a. Oh, that's right, they're called Talos. But most of our Talos are in a sorry state. We spared no effort in maintaining the trolley. We've even upgraded it! As a matter of fact, it's faster than ever and can deliver you to the Batha ring in no time at all! Ooh, that's loud in my ears. Hello, hello, welcome in, Raiders. Hey, Dio Maxwell, how's it going? How was your spooky ghosty hunts? How's it going, y'all? I'm Spark the Perfet. We're playing Final Fantasy XIV, doing some MSQ. I'm actually wrapping up really, really soon. Like, I'm gonna stop after this quest <laughs> because I work tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, welcome on in. How's your evening going? Hope everyone is doing well. Um, yep. Yeah playing some Final Fantasy 14 and we have a trolley somebody say trolley hold on hold on I think I got a I think we got a thing on BTTV for it you gonna hang out cool I appreciate it did I add hold up I gotta see if I added the right yep I found it the trolley Sorry, I had to do it. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, so we are... There's spoilers. So you guys know. There might be spoilers for 6.5 MSQ and what I'm about to say, because that's what we're doing. Um, anyway, welcome on in, everybody. So, we are trying to save our own world from an attack by Void Scent. Which is, you know, very darkness focused. And we're gonna do that by gathering a bunch of light and then be like, BEAM! We're gonna beam light from the first into our world to fight off the 13th. Shit's complicated. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And for some reason, I don't know where the heck uh, Gaia is. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going around placing down these aether transmitter things to like channel the excess light from the first. And we're gonna shoot it over to the crystal tower and then use that to channel everything and store it into the trans. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing that I don't totally understand, but it was Ishtola's idea and it was super funny to go tell Runar about that. <laughs> Damn, anyway. Thank you so much for the raid, Dio Maxwell. Hope everybody's doing good. Okay. Uh, back to Magnus. After everything you've done for us, we can't just sit stand idly by. Dankard would never let us hear the end of it. True. 
Also, it's Thancred's roll, too. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Yeah, trolleys! And Zero, this meanwhile, is just like... I both can't believe you have made so so many friends and people who are just tripping over themselves to help you, but also I'm not surprised. People are being so kind and considerate. What is this? That's her right now. I dare say we have ample help. Come, let's go and acquire our light. She's also just like, look, I know we're going to save your world from the darkness by shooting this stuff, but... All it's gonna do for me is just kill off one of the many, many void scent, and then there'll be many, many more to deal with. A little pessimistic, her. Oh, here we go. This is the point where we're starting because this is where that we stop the flood. So this is the flood of light. Yep, that's it. It's frozen in time. I listened to the Japanese from me, but I'll read it back to you in English. Just so that you have the translation. I don't remember much of the time when darkness consumed the 13th, just the cold and the emptiness. Zero, -san? Zero are you alright? I fine. You're the one who stopped this? Uh not exactly. Like her predecessor. Oh no no. That was the first Oracle of Light, Minfilia. She since left us, but I inherited her power and legacy. So I see. So Let's get started then, shall we? Oh, what's really cool about the Aether Transmitters is they look like little Allegan nodes. But they like turn into like these things, these like stand light things. It's pretty neat, but I'm like, clearly y'all have been studying- see, like this. Really neat. Um, but it's like, clearly the Ironworks has been studying the Elegant technology and taking a lot of influence from them, so they're starting to get the hang of it. So very cool. I thought that was neat. Yeah, the transmitters are set whenever you're ready. In Japanese, she was kind of like telling me, like, you know, like, the, uh, place the last one when you're ready. Telling us to, like, place the last one down. Everything else, all the other ones are set up. Radiant light. I guess we're like gonna transmit this all to the crystal tower and then build a bunch up and then just like use the rift to be like shoot it over to the source and then we'll figure out how to harvest it from there. We'll use the transmitters over there and be like doo -shoo -shoo, even at the moon. I don't like that. It's almost too much for one. It's almost too much for one steeped in darkness like me. Oh. Oh, she sees herself. Yes, that's you. Whatever may have happened in the past, Zero, you're still here, alive. You couldn't do yesterday? Might still do today. Those were... Julius's words, I think? 
The power is mine to wield. Oh! Oh! Are you gonna be okay? You're a void scent! Is this gonna balance you out or is this gonna hurt you? I like don't know! You will not succumb, not to darkness nor to light. Oh, fuck. She's... ...taking light into herself. Ani struggles to contain it. She needs help. Reed still got her oracle powers a little bit, so she can kind of control it. Try to temper it, maybe. Take some out. What were you doing? Thank goodness, how do you feel? Better now, I think. You're very, very lucky. Whatever possessed you to do that? She wants to balance herself. And to know if I could command the light, I could change my fate. Once I would have never dared to dream it. But your friendship and your trust has helped me to see new possibilities. Myself and everything else. That's why I thought this Perhaps that's why, when I beheld this world once damned, yet so saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. Become a world where light and darkness are in harmony, and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create together. I had the strength. Perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. That's what possessed me. That's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. She's basically saying that, like, to trust in your friends, your companions to believe in you. No. Yeah, basically. It was once a time when I lacked the courage to voice my desires was to burden those I love, so I convinced myself. Like, you know, trust in your friends that, you know, they'll support you and... They'll support your beliefs and your dreams and things that you want. But... 
私を信じ抜いてくれたから私も信じて伝えたんです Then I met those who believed in me Help me to find They helped me to believe in myself and find the strength to live I love her hat still この命がある限りどこの空の下にいても私はきっと大丈夫 So as long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine No matter how dire things seem No matter where I am そう思えることが私の一番の一人で願っていただけじゃたどり着けなかった幸せです To be able to think that brought me peace and it's a blessing I owe entirely to my friends 信じ伝えること Those who believe in us Oh shit <laughs> Sorry I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. So, I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you want to help you fulfill your dream, you'll be able to help you fulfill your dream. Oh. You wish to take in more light? I can keep the power in check and help your body accept it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's what she can do. If anyone can do it, it'd be Reen. It worked well enough for me. With the power of light and dark, you'll be unstoppable! If anyone can do it, it'd be Reen. So it would seem. Alright then, I'm counting on you. Here I go. How do you feel? I can feel it. The light's warmth welling within me. I believe it worked. Kono Chikara to Tomoni, Boy do a kair. Kondo Kosa Tataka in Ukuso. This power, I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was, and for those I hold dear. And it helps Zero become a warrior of light. Did we? Should she talk to Unicoli though and uh, Sayla? I'd appreciate that. I've only known Zero for a short while. It feels as though her struggle is my own. For her sake and her worlds, we must succeed. Done our part, and I trust that the others will see to the light to our destination. It's time we return to the source. I shall seek out Beck Luke and have them return my soul to the spirit vessel. Okay, so that's actually where we're gonna pause for today. Um, although, hold up, I want to go check. I didn't, don't remember seeing Sila and Unukali, but let's go, let's go look for them really quick, and then we'll stop. Sila, Silva, same thing. Bum, 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 bum. Where am I going? Am I going this way? No, it's the other way? Hold up, I'm lost. Up there. 
I get disoriented. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're right there. Um, hi. Hello. Would you like me to update you on what's going on? What? With our methods, we can barely maintain a faint connection to the 13th, but you see you've journeyed there? Incredible. Such drive our Stola must have to uncover the secrets of cross of travel, and to conceive of creating an artificial Atomos could only be described as inspired. Suffice it to say, I should like nothing more than to join you on your future forays, but I'll abide in patience for now. You already have a capable guide at your disposal, and my presence would be extraneous. Besides, there are certain tasks that require me to be here in the first. For one, I wish to learn more about the approach used to revive the empty. It is my hope that the self-same can be applied to the 13th, and to that end, I have arranged to meet with those involved. Oh, you want to talk to Reen and Gaia? Because, you know, we're frenzies. How you doing? At loose ends, are you? You're welcome to loiter about here if you intend to spend some coin while you're at it. Not that I'm not grateful for the business you brought in, my brought in mind. The hunters are here even more often now that they're working together, and their accounts never go unsettled for long. They're a pain in the arse to serve, of course. Maybe I'll drop your name next time I need them to behave. Still, it's nice to feel like something grand is in motion again. Perhaps Arbert rubbed off on me more than I anticipated. Uh, I went to the 13th! What? Not only did you travel to the 13th, you encountered a memoriam besides? Look at White, that's nothing short of a miracle! I used to be a memoriam myself, but I lost my powers when the Asians plucked me out of the void. It's astounding to think that this Zero managed to survive with hers all the same, all this time. But she claims to have no desire to save our world. As a compatriot, I should still be keen to meet her. There's only so much of us left, after all. Those who haven't completely lost themselves. Also, I know full well that you and yours have your own objective in the 13th. But should you discover aught that might lead us lead to its restoration, I'd like I'd thank you to share it with me. How's Unicly holding up? As I mentioned, we never met in our previous lives, or should I say, while we were properly alive? This never gets less confusing. In any case, we each fought to protect the thirteenth, but alone as we were, I can hardly say that I know the details of his efforts, only the regrets that we shared afterwards. It wasn't too long before we went our separate ways to play our separate parts, yet here we are again. One last chance to walk the noble path together? Who can say? We should have dragged Zero over here to go talk to them. Anyway. Maybe next time. Maybe next time! For now. Hey. Thanks y'all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. That's what we'll be calling it for today. We will resume MSQ. Not tomorrow. Because tomorrow is... Friday night, we're gonna play a spooky game. I'm not gonna spoil which one, but I think I've decided which one we're gonna do. Um, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a spooky night, and then I think we'll probably continue MSQ on Friday. That's the current plan. Worst case scenario... I don't know. We'll see. But we'll do it soon. Uh, for now, thanks all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thanks everyone who stopped by. Uh, thank you, Dio Maxwell, for the raid. Uh, thanks for enjoying Dio Neko, Dio Maxwell, Deacon Theed, I appreciate you all. Lurkers, chatters, future VOD watchers as well. Um, great night, everybody, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for Spooky Variety Night, but otherwise, I'll see you next time. Wish MSQ. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye!